Detroit schools will get a big boost in funding from the newly passed state dollars, but vaccination rates have fallen short of expectations. And a return to a normal school year may fall short of expectations, too. Our Grant Herm spoke to the district superintendent about how much of a challenge this could be. Dr. Nikolai Vitti wasn't shy about the challenges facing Detroit public schools. He said while this money could do a lot of good, it could go further if more Detroiters get their shot. Detroit Public Schools Community District Superintendent applauding the historic investment in schools passed by lawmakers just before their holiday break. All of this pandemic has been a roller coaster ride to, you know, opening schools, closing schools with higher infection rates. Um, but I do believe we're moving more into a new normal where I think in the fall, the vast majority of our students will be in person. Um, I think I, our teachers will be back in person um, and I'm excited. After passing more than 17 billion for schools across the state, Detroit will see an increase in funding to the tune of $27 million. Money that could go a long way to help repair buildings, replace books and equipment, and set the district on a better path forward. But the district is hitting a roadblock. Our families continue in Detroit to be reluctant to be vaccinated. And so if adults in Detroit are reluctant to be vaccinated, Highly doubtful that they're going to have their children vaccinated. Right now, Detroit's vaccination rate is half the statewide total. Only 31% of Detroiters have received their first dose of a vaccine, and just 25% are fully vaccinated. That means the school district will need to use some of their funds that would have gone to improving schools for testing, PPE, and other COVID precautions. If we were able to have more people vaccinated, you could then send their kids to school and feel safer. You wouldn't have to spend so much money on testing, on equipment, on fans, those things that you could then put into both short and long-term solutions. Am I right in saying that? I think you're right in saying that. I, I think that there, there is a truth to that. The district has been partnering with the state to hold vaccination drives and is planning to hold more before the next school year, hoping to make sure teachers, students, and their families are safe come the fall. It probably means that those individuals are gonna be wearing a mask when they come to school in the fall. Uh, at the minimum to keep them safe and to keep others safe. Well, Governor Whitmer is expected to sign that big funding package sometime soon. Our office couldn't give us an exact date, though, when we asked last week. In Detroit, Grant Herms, Local 4.